Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben here from Archetype Origins and today I'm going to be doing a simple tutorial showing you guys how to install an AM5 water block from EK onto your AM5 motherboard. So let's get into it. For the tool you need for this project, it's going to be a screwdriver, but it's better if you have an electric screwdriver. And also, I like to use my own thermal paste, which is the MX4 or MX6, whichever one you have at the moment. But EKDU provides their own thermal paste, so if you don't have it, you don't have to bother buying some uh, expensive thermal paste. And another thing, it's alcohol, but if you don't, we really like to use this alcohol wipes because it just makes the job a lot easier. Just in case you mess something up, you can always clean it out and we'll just wipe it clean. Alright, first, we're going to set this motherboard aside, and then we're going to unbox this EK Quantum Velocity M5 water block. So right out of the box, you have the water block itself, and then you have one single cable, the ARGB cable. Underneath the foam, you have some tools. So this Allen wrench is really important. You're gonna have to use this later on. Like I said earlier, they do provide uh, some thermal paste, and they also provide one extra screw. So if you happen to strip or lose one of this screw you can always replace it with this one first step we're gonna have to remove this four screws take out these two brackets on the motherboard all of the am5 motherboards will come with these two brackets so be sure to remove that first that's always going to be your first step always remember to peel off the protective layer otherwise if your thing overheats you don't want to go through all the hassle to remove the water blocks take out everything drain the coolant just to get this peel off so always remember to peel this one off okay Next thing we have our MX6 thermal paste from Arctic. We're gonna apply it on top over here and just kind of like spread it down. After spreading the thermal paste, we're just gonna install the water block onto the motherboard. So now when it comes to the orientation, you can do it two ways. One is this way and the other one is this way. Now it mainly depends on how you want to route the tube and also the direction of the ARGB cable. So you can have it either go this way or this way. But because of personal preference, we would like it to go this way instead. So this is how we're gonna mount it. So the mounting mechanism works like this. These are the four mounting screws for your water block. And you're gonna be mounting this onto the four holes on your motherboard over here. Once you put in a water block onto your motherboard, we're gonna flip this motherboard around and then we're gonna use this black Allen wrench to tighten this and secure the CPU block onto the motherboard. You want to make sure you mount the screw in the crisscross pattern so the pressure is evenly distributed. Since the way you mount the screw will be inverted, you want to do counterclockwise to tighten the screws. <laughs> and once the screws are tightened to a level, they are slightly poking out from the back plate, then you know you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch a full PC build with this, click here. Hmm. I don't understand. Okay. This applies you. Uh, just <laughs>